Virgos. Hey, my lovies. What is going on? My soul tribe, my family. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, wherever you are. Hopefully, when you find this message, you are feeling amazing. You're feeling well and feeling very blessed and grateful. Virgo, I want to thank you guys, each and every one of you, for your love, your light, your positive energy. Hi to all my new subscribers. And I appreciate everybody who's been booking your personal readings with me and sending me so many loving messages thank you and i even got a couple donations i really appreciate you guys thank you from the bottom of my heart i really truly love you guys um <laughs> and a lot of you when you don't see me or we're not going live you check on me so i appreciate your prayers and your support i really do love you guys a lot i have been busy doing readings and sending off packages you guys have been making purchases as well so i'm very very grateful all right i do have a message for you today virgo and this is for sun moon rising venus and north node but wherever you have Virgo in your chart or if you're drawn to the message you don't have to be a Virgo sun to enjoy our messages here um but the message is spirit wants you guys to focus more on the good that is happening in your life I'm getting the energy of the need for you to not stay so long on what didn't work out and there's nothing for you to tear yourself down about God wants you to recycle this energy. So it's time for you to recycle energy. We're going to use this deck to find out exactly what energy you need to be recycling. But God wants you to turn your pain into passion and turn this passion into purpose. All right. This is the strong message that I got for you this morning. So it is time for you to transfer this pain. Pain is fuel. It's merely to teach you a lesson and to strengthen you to go to the next level, the next step. And it's critical for you to pay attention to the things that God is trying to show you while you're going through these changes and these cycles so that you'll be able to use your pain as fuel and it'll fuel, it'll fuel your passion. It'll make you more um, feeling like determined and make you more um, structured and disciplined also a lot of these cycles that we go through really groom us into being the amazing people that we are developing into um a lot of us have elevated from pain a painful situation a traumatic time so god wants you to transfer this pain into passion and use it to fuel you onto the next level all right and it's critical because there's going to be some decisions that need to be made and if you spend too much time focusing on the things that aren't working then you won't be able to make the right decision all right so i'm here to enlighten you about this so let's go ahead and go into the oracle part of your reading then we'll get into the tarot to clarify some things but let's find out exactly what spirit is trying to say to you holy spirit holy angels ancestors and spirit guys thank you so much for this amazing message i appreciate your divine, your divine protection all around me all around my home and all around the people who are drawn to my videos thank you for blessing my soul tribe and all my viewers and we appreciate you giving us divine protection healing and victory in every situation we may face we appreciate abundance and overflow and blocking and binding all negative energy and to see which craft wickedness, familiar spirits and unfamiliar spirits. Anything trying to come up against your divine will for our lives. Thank you for binding that energy. Amen. Amen. And amen. Let's see. All right, guys. Success is the last card that came out and it actually turned face up. This is having everything to do with you joining the right people making the right choices to build the right relationships. These are going to be connections that last. You are attracted to the people who serve your higher good, right? And that's why it's not a lot of people surrounding you because as you grow, you're being protected, you're being covered, and you're not being revealed to everybody that comes into your energy, all right? The only people who are truly going to be able to see you inside and out is God and the people that he selects to be in your life, to look over you, to protect you. A lot of times Virgos tend to be very soft-hearted, even though we can get upset, we can very much get very assertive, aggressive, whatever we need to do to make sure that we stay protected. But at the same time, we have a very soft heart and it tends to take a Virgo a lot to build up to that level of really wanting to lash out. So God puts people in our lives that like to speak up for us, that like to have our back and likes to make sure that we're okay. And whether you have five, four, three, two, or one, there's always someone. All right. And these are the type of people that you want to keep around, the type of people that really have your best interests at heart. God also wants you to be kind of quiet about the blessings and the new discoveries that you'll be experiencing. Okay. 
Um, not everybody is proud of you, Virgo. And I don't like to focus too much on negative energy, but there is negative people around you. There are some people that are not happy about your growth and your development and your success. Some people are around you watching you. And as soon as you seem like you're getting better, boom, they find a way to try to knock you back down. Whether they want you to focus on the negative things that are happening in your life or wanting you to always look over your shoulder, all right? Some people like you in this energy of anxiousness and and worry all right so there's a it's important and and also stuck in the past it's important for you to pay attention to that type of energy it's important for you to remain balanced and do your best to focus on the glass half full and focus on all the good things that are happening in your life all right the less power you give to your enemies and the less power you give to the people around you even thinking and feeling like you have enemies you can even rebuke and bind that energy all right because a lot of times people have a problem with themselves. If they don't like you or they have a problem with you, because especially when you're doing well and you're elevating and you just are taking a more peaceful approach to a situation, these people have things to work on within. So don't spend too much time worrying about that, okay? Spirit wants you to focus solely on your growth, your elevation, and the positive things that are happening in your life. This is going to help you. Use your pain and use whatever that negative energy is that tries to come towards you to fuel you to do, be, and move better, okay? So let's go ahead and go through this energy, Virgo. The first card that you have is doubt. Um, I release the need to know all the answers, all right? So a lot of you have already been experiencing this energy where you'll feel yourself having to pull back from certain situations because not only are you realizing that you can't control the narrative of the situation, even though you might have been able to a bit in the past, you're not able to control the narrative, nor are you able to control the people in their energy. You can't make anybody like you. You can't make anybody work work with you and you definitely can't make anybody do things that they really don't want to do when it comes to even moving away and getting out of your energy sometimes you just have to pull back this sends a bigger message right so a lot of you guys are learning not to doubt the process not to doubt yourself but just learn a different strategy in how to deal with these people especially the people that try to hinder you okay so doubt, releasing the need to know all the answers. It makes you doubt yourself. When you feel like um, you can control something and then you go at it and boom, you hit a brick wall, it makes you doubt your power, makes you doubt your authority over situations in your life. And that's not it. You just can't control others. That's all. So just pull back your energy and continue to walk in this energy of not needing to know all the answers. It's like, because the more I come towards you, you're going to use that power against me. You know that I want something that you have. And you also know that the more you don't give it to me and pull back, the more it might make me come toward it. That's why it's a need for you to realize that, A, <laughs> it's not working. I'm not doing any more about it. If it's meant for me, it will come right to me. Simple. It will be a door open for me to go down that avenue to have exactly what I want or to find out what I need to know. So a spirit wants you to stay right there, okay? And this is how you persevere over your enemies, over anything that is coming up against you, okay? It's not always an enemy. Sometimes you could be your own worst, worst, you, you could be your own problem, all right? You could be your own worst nightmare because the more you stay in your head focusing on things that really don't serve you and don't elevate you, the more lost you feel, the more broken you feel the more sad you feel inside and, and, and you feel a lack of power, right? So I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. This is how you persevere, all right? If you set your mind to release something and not give your energy to it anymore, notice how empowered you feel and how great you feel about yourself and how powerful you know that you are once this starts working for you because it's like i'm not going to put my energy into that you don't put your energy to it anymore and you realize that this thing starts losing power whether it's a person whether it's a habit whatever it is okay all it takes for you is to change your mind all right and pull back your energy and you persevere okay when you give your energy to something you give it power okay pride i love myself and i see myself in everyone all right so this is another thing that spirit wants you to work on so spirit wants you to work on needing to know all the answers trying to be in control spirit wants you to know i mean wants to work on you believing in yourself and knowing that you can do what you set your mind to spirit wants you to work on your pride 
not worrying about what somebody else is doing, okay? And realizing that, like we said, you can't force it. So if it's not working, it's not meant to. And that means you're better off without it, right? Or either there's going to be a bigger and better blessing coming into your life that you truly deserve. Empathy, all right? It's important for you to, this is going to help you with doubt and pride also. If you understand more about what people are going through, do your best to put yourself in other people's shoes. Because sometimes people do wear their feelings on their sleeve. And you can learn a lot from a person when you let them speak and you just listen to where they're coming from mentally and from an emotional place. And this will help you kind of pull back your energy and not really feel take so much personal because some people very much are struggling within and needing to work on some things in their self. So they may say some things that are kind of ignorant or come off very rude. They may say some things that are hurtful and they're not really thinking about how it affects you. Um, but if you think about where these people are in their life and where they may be coming from, like from observing them or just looking at them, sometimes you can tell a lot, even though you're not to judge a book by its cover. But if you put all of these elements together, you kind of get an idea of what this person is struggling with. You guys are very intuitive. I know you read people, you can see it just like I can. For a lot of you, some are stronger than others, but you get where I'm going with it. So empathy, a level of empathy will help you, you know, not take things personal. It'll help you keep the peace and it'll help you move through um, situations in a successful manner. Um, for a lot of you guys, you're working in medical fields and office office settings with a lot of people, a lot of different personalities and a lot of energy. Doesn't have to be an office, but whatever this is that you're doing, it's a lot of people. It could be a place with a lot of windows or whatever the case may be, but there's a need for peace and there's a need for you to remember who you are, all right, and not switch places with people because I feel like with the, all these people, it's a lot of different personalities, all right? Some like you, some don't. Some get along with you, some can't. A lot of people don't understand how you move and it's because you're moving in a way of using your intuition as well as being strategic and wise about making sure that you protect your blessing as opposed to friendships, making friendships. So I feel like you could be very cordial in the workspace, but not into every single thing that everybody else is doing. You are very much a leader not a follower and not everybody knows how to embrace that. So I do see this. So spirit wants you to do your best to keep the peace in these situations and remain a peaceful being. This says, I am a being of love. I release all negative energy. So this is what spirit wants you to focus on, okay? And success, I know that there is no greater goal than to love. God wants you to bring peace in the situation, whatever it is having to do with workplace, church, whatever this is that's dealing with all these different energies, all these different people. So you're doing your best to count your blessings. Know that either way you're going to be successful because we have it here. You will have peace in your life as long as you apply these messages, these seeds that I've planted. Water them with your faith and with your actions and you'll see them start to grow in your life and you'll see things change. Okay, so... This is what spirit wants you to do. Whatever energies that are coming out of these situations that make you feel bad or it feels like um, nails, like somebody is just another blow and another blow and another blow. Spirit wants you to pay attention, analyze these situations, realize why they happen and transmute that energy. Spirit wants you to recycle that energy and use it to help you excel and grow. And there will be success, there will be peace, and there will be stable new decisions. I mean, new relationships. There's decisions that need to be made as far as adversity. It's all about what you choose to do and how you choose to move. So spirit is trying to help you bring peace into the situation, especially when it comes to people and things that you're experiencing with these challenges. It says, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. And I use my intuition in all aspects of life. So this is what spirit is trying to tell you to use your intuition in order to maneuver through these challenging times. And this will bring you the successful relationships and the peace that you're looking for. All right. Cause some of you just want people around you that you can love and care for and trust. Right. 
And even in the workplace, you just want people that are positive, that's going to work with you, that's not going to work against you so much. And it's not plotting on you. You don't want to feel like you always have to look over your shoulder with friends, family, and colleagues. So I do get that, okay? So time for you to transmute this energy, time for you to set the tone in your life to the point where you're using this energy to help you thrive, okay? It's kind of the energy of let your enemies be your footstool, all right? Let's see what Spirit wants to tell you. Let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guys, thank you for that amazing message. Let's see what you want to tell Virgo. How do we maneuver through these situations? What do you want my Virgos to know today? What else does Virgo need to know? Okay. Universal love, spiritual union. All right. So some of you guys do want a spiritual union. Some of you guys want love. Some of you guys could have met somebody that's showing you love. Spirit doesn't want you to be so controlling. Don't do a lot to try to control your partner and control what happens. For some of you guys, this person came in your life in order to open up your heart, um, even if this is an acquaintance. But there are new alliances, new friends, new relationships that are going to be building and developing in your life, okay? People appreciate your wisdom. Somebody here appreciates your wisdom. It's a need for you to learn more about who you are, about the power, so you can fight the temptation of wanting to, I feel like, go with the flow or feeling defeated by this energy. Spirit wants you to use your spiritual wisdom, all right, and the strategies that we just talked about in order for you to flip the script on these people. So it's like <laughs> in the office space. Let's take office, for example, when you're in the office, and people are doing things and you feel the energy gaining momentum. You can feel the strength in the room. You can feel it. It's very thick when people are working against you, plotting towards you, or sending you negative energy. It's very thick. When you feel that energy, you counteract it by doing something positive, by listening to a positive music. You can go on the other screen on your computer and start looking up positive quotes, things like that. You have to learn how to tap into that energy and use whatever they're sending you to build you up. Whereas though you weren't even thinking about that, but these positive quotes enhance your being. It makes you stronger in the spirit realm, all right? So you're fighting these people without even saying it. You're winning this battle without even speaking, without even looking their way, without even acknowledging it in the 3D. This is how you're battling in the 5D. So this is an example of how to counteract that energy, okay? Yeah, I... um. <laughs> I love you guys. And I'm like, okay, Spirit, we're going to go ahead and give a message because I'm going to dinner to my son's house today. I was just like, I'm not going to get on here. Um, I'm just going to let things ride. Like Spirit says, you're a messenger. All right. Your people love you. Whether you see it or not, whether you feel like it or not, they love you. Some people are waiting to hear my message. Give the message. So here I am giving the message and look at this amazing message. Uh, when I say I love what I do, I really do love what I do. And I love that God is a part of it and leading me to help you guys. Um, <laughs> this is very powerful. Let me continue, okay? I just am showing appreciation and love and gratitude. I can't help it. I'm very grateful. Um, and I thank God for speaking to me on that level. So balance. So you have the angel of balance here. I'm hearing Archangel Michael bringing balance. All right. Spirit also wants you to recognize that you have all the tools you need to be successful in whatever this situation is. OK, um, I'm hearing that all you need to do is apply these things. Some of you guys already know the answer. Some of you guys do it and then you get weary and then you may stop. But there's a need for you to stay in your ground. Seven of Wands. And there's also a need for you to take a risk with the Page of Wands energy. Um, have passion, focus on the positive things that you want to see happen in your life, okay? So let's see. We got spiritual union here. You got universe and you have partnerships and alliance working hand in hand with the universe to bring you positive things. This is giving me the energy of manifestations. Spiritual union, God is saying, this is the love that will never die. I will always be here with you, seeing you through these obstacles and challenges. Not only that, with the spiritual union, somebody has found love, all right? And the universe is working with you, hearing your affirmations, hearing your request, and these things are happening in your life with these people finally working for you. With the three of wands energy, 
this is happening because you took the initiative to step out on faith. Some of you guys have more opportunities arising. So it's critical that you take this lesson and apply it to your life so you can be able to make these decisions in order to move these things out of your way. Stop beating yourself up. God doesn't want you to tear yourself down. All right. It's not you supposed to be that. It's not that you're supposed to be dissecting yourself more. So you're supposed to be embracing the changes and learning from the lessons and implying that energy. All right. Recycling the energy to make it work for your good. OK, let everything that the enemy set out for me to hinder me, to destroy me or tear me down, work for my good. Boom. Okay. Some of y'all can repeat that over your life. All right. We got emotional withdrawal, conflict and defeat and wisdom. Spirit is saying you got all the tools you need to win. All right. You're pregnant with new ideas that are very much going to benefit people. All right. And whatever this is with this fertility spirit is saying, don't forget your power. Whatever you create, you will have. All right. And whatever you speak over your life, it will be. So be careful what you're saying. Be careful what you're doing. Use your gifts for good and use them wisely, God is saying. Use your gifts wisely, okay? With this spirit, um, emotional withdrawal and spiritual union, maybe it's time for you to pull away from trying to make something work. For some of you guys, you have been emotionally withdrawn for so long. You need to remember how to be open and loving again so you can have these partnerships and alliances coming in, okay? Okay. Some of you guys need to open up a little bit and your angel of balance is here to help you. Show me spiritual union. This is the tarot portion of your reading. Deceit, lies, and untrustworthy. So for some of you guys, maybe you're dealing with somebody who is untrustworthy and deceptive. All right? This could be somebody who is a knight of cups, charmer, a love offer. So for some of you guys, if you're dealing with somebody, it's a need for you to look a little bit deeper into this situation. For some of you guys, the universe is bringing you positive energy, healing energy, telling you to have hope, all right, and soul alignment. This happens. Some of you guys are being moved out of one situation into another situation, all right? Um, there's a need for you to take control with this King of Wands energy, boss, leader, alpha energy. So taking control, setting the tone, Take an initiative to make the changes necessary in order to make something work. This is all about your emotional fulfillment, Ace of Cups. For some of you guys, you met somebody and you're thinking that everything is going to work perfectly with this person. There's a need for you to ask questions because Ace of Cups energy could be representing somebody only wanting passion. Okay, we got the devil here. Excessive extreme shadow self and unhealthy bonds. So some of you could be connected to an energy that is not healthy for you, okay? This could be a Capricorn, King of Wands energy. This could be somebody who steps out on their relationship. For some of you guys who keep going back to this third-party situation, Spirit wants you to understand that this is not working for a reason. You're going to have new partnerships, and this situation is going to continue to fall apart, and you're always going to feel defeated because it's not meant for you, all right? For some of you guys, you may feel like the devil is working against you. Everything you do, they, this negative energy is coming about trying to hinder you and stop your progress. God said you have you have the wisdom. You know what to do. All right. So use your tools. Use your gifts. You you know how to invoke the emotion. You know how to say what you need to say. You're very articulate. Passion. You take action. You're not afraid. And you also have the finances or um, know what to invest at this time or whatever this has to do with it. But the angel of balance is coming here to provide you with whatever is missing. But God is saying you have the tools, okay? This is talking about surrendering, sacrifice here, all right? This is talking about you letting something go, fantasy. So somebody could be creating illusions with this hangman energy. It's a need for you to pull back your energy and take a look at the situation, um, it might hurt to walk away from this, but this is what spirit is telling you. This withdrawal is the time when you take this energy and recycle it, all right? It's a need for you to pull back your energy with the hangman, emotional withdrawal and step away. Conflict and defeat is here, but spirit is saying you're wise enough to make it through this and pull in the relationships that really are going to serve you. Indecision, you're not making a decision about this situation is only going to cause more adversity. It's going to cause more problems. Denial is in the reverse. Stop being in denial when it comes to love, okay? It's something here. 
if you stop being in denial when it comes to this love, regret is in the reverse. You won't regret it. All right. And then balance is in the reverse. There is no balance in this situation. So the more you try to control a situation, the less it's like the less you get out of it. It's not going to turn out to be what you want it to be. Partnerships and alliances. Show me more for Virgo. The sun. You're going to get more positive people working with you. People that love and appreciate your energy. All right. But it's a need for you to take a time out here. It's a need for you to step away. With the magician energy, manifest a new beginning here. Let go of the things that don't serve you. And the strength card. All right. You're stronger than you ever thought you were. This is talking about resilience and self-discipline. So this is the energy that spirit wants to see you move in, Virgo. Um, and use your wisdom. The angel is here to help you balance the situation when it comes to love and how you're moving. All right. When it comes to your success, peace in the workplace, peace in your love life. This negative energy or whatever this toxicity is that you're keeping around you or that keeps trying to revisit you or you're indulging in, you have the power to speak to that mountain and make that mountain move. And this is the energy that spirit wants you to be in. All right. You're a lot stronger than you think. Don't tear yourself apart. Use this pain for passion and use your passion for purpose. It's time for you to move out of these situations so you can unblock yourself. If you're feeling blocked, stagnant, stuck, sad, or whatever the case may be, like every time you turn around, something is happening. It's because you need to withdraw. You need to spend some time with spirit using your, um, using your intuition and using your magician energy to bring in something new, trying to start over. And for some of you guys, that may not be what you want to hear, but this is going to be what happens to, um, what you need to do that's going to help change your life and change this situation. All right. The end of a tough cycle is here. Spirit wants you to use your intuition, close this cycle and go ahead and let the wheel turn in your favor. You have to use your intuition. Okay. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here with me and I will see you on the next video. Um, let me see. Let's get you one of these cards really quick. Something new is on its way to you. Loosen your grip, release to receive. This is going to make you very happy. Okay, Virgo. So I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me and get ready for this new thing that is going to happen in your life. That's going to make you forget all about this old energy. All right. Time to recycle. Let's go, Virgo. Bye.